Today's seminar was about sharing the learning from uh, early work on the implications of the Wellbeing and Future Generations Act, both for public bodies and for us as an audit body. It shared some experiences that Monmouth County Council have had from an early assessment that we did with them. And it was also about highlighting that this is an important piece of legislation that's got significant implications, which means things will have to be different. We are going to be looking at how we audit differently, public bodies are going to act differently. So it's about raising awareness of we're going to have to really think about the way we govern bodies, how we audit bodies in this new context. The one key message is that this does require a different way of working, but that, that involves the whole organisation. It's about taking through from planning, decision making to service delivery. It's about how you carry out scrutiny. It's about how we carry out audits. So this legislation affects all part of the organisation. So key message is this is going to affect us all. How do we ensure that we share that message in a consistent, coherent way, that we work together to develop an approach to public service delivery and external audit and review that really helps to deliver the aspirations of this important piece of legislation. Right, today's workshop was uh, sharing the learning that we'd uh, gained from the Early Adopters Programme and how that could be then applied to the other public bodies, not just the local authorities. One key message is that uh, we're not alone, that everybody is, as public sector, all public bodies have to work together um, and that is in the preparation for the Act and also in the implementation of the Act and that each local authority, each, each body that is subject to the duties of the, the Act has got something to contribute.